Hi everyone, it's Roger here from What's On at DisneyPlus.com. It's Wednesday, it's time for a quick Disney Plus News Roundup where we talk about Indiana Jones, we're going to talk about some new international originals and much more. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news and also hit that like button as well. Okay, so let's kick things off talking about Indiana Jones because today is a big new release day because all four of the classic films have been added onto Disney Plus around the world just ahead of Dial of Destiny arriving at the end of June in cinemas. So all four films have been added. There was also a special look at behind the scenes of how they made um, the upcoming Dial of Destiny film. Also in the United States and in Canada, they got the Indiana Jones series. Unfortunately, not every country got this one. Um, I don't know why, but there must have been some licensing issues. Um, so yeah, so if you wanted to watch that series, unfortunately it's just in the US and Canada right now, but hopefully it does get added later. Um, you'll also find uh, Indiana Jones Collection on Disney+, Plus, though it seems a little bit dodgy of how you get into it. It's not fully been added onto the all collections yet. I suspect it'll be done pretty soon. But yeah, you'll find all of the films and the series and the making of in there. Plus also, I suspect we will see the Dial of Destiny film added into it when that gets added to Disney Plus later this year, once it's done its theatrical run. So obviously a big new release on Disney Plus with that one, so that's definitely a great um, release um, for today. But if you're gonna be watching the Indiana Jones films, let me know in the comments below. Moving on from there, let's now talk about some new international originals, because Disney has announced um, a whole host of them are gonna be coming to Disney Plus around the world in June. And I suspect these are going to end up being on Hulu in the United States. Okay, so let's kick things off talking about the Korean reality series, The Zone Survival Mission. We've already had the first season released, but now we can expect the second season to drop on June the 14th. Again, International Disney Plus, Hulu in the United States. On the same day, on June the 14th, we're getting a brand new Turkish original series called Search. This series tells the story of Nisan, who is unhappy, sick, lost woman, trapped inside of the hustle of city life, discovering a shady in a search for a friend who has disappeared after a healing session that they attended together. Despite all our doubts, Nissan can't turn a blind eye to the coach's promises and follows a mysterious man, Turfan, into the adventure full of the unknowns. Also on the same day, we're going to be getting a brand new German series called Farm Rebellion, which is a documentary all about an investment banker who gets into farming and wants to change the world and kind of goes for a whole host of different experiments just trying to improve um, food. So that's obviously interesting if you're into for like food Food documentaries and stuff so if you're gonna be checking that one out let me know then coming out a week later on the 23rd of June we're gonna be in a brand new South Korean thriller series called Revenant which is all about a young woman who has been possessed by a demon as a mysterious death start happening around her a professor in Korea folklore who is able to see demons recognizes the demon as the same one that killed his mother in his childhood and his knowledge and abilities become vital in saving um, the woman and those around her so lots of interesting stuff arriving on our uh, Disney Plus around the world kind of these international originals continue to keep rolling out um so lots of different options there but if you're going to be checking any of these let me know in the comments below also with it being wednesday we've got some new content um obviously in the united states it was primarily just the indiana jones content but there was some additional stuff released internationally we got the third episode of the australian series the clearing so i want to watch that one later today the first two episodes i watched just before my vacation thought it was fantastic so i'm looking forward to watching that one um, that is in addition to, um, we got the finale of Grey's Anatomy and Station 19 here in the UK, also in Australia. So I'm slowly working my way through. I've been just, a, that shows that I, I kind of get rounds them. It seems to take me ages to finish because episodes, I think after like 19 years, the, the impact of watching them as fast as you can kind of disappears. But so that's pretty interesting. Also today we did get some other new star originals released around the world including about Sasha and the actress. Plus here in the United Kingdom we also got the second season of Single Drunk Female. And in Canada they got the finale of Saint X, a fantastic series that's going to be coming on to Disney Plus here in the UK and in Australia next week so definitely check that one out and there was also a new episode of the FX series Class of 09. But let me know what you're going to be watching on Disney Plus today in the comments below. In our comment of the day come from Fanboy Universe. He says Hi Roger, since Disney Plus will have Hulu content next year, if Disney Plus and Hulu do fully merge, do you think they might change the app like Warner Brothers did to the, um, the streaming service? I ain't talking about just the name of Disney Plus, but maybe changing the color a little bit and whatever they might do, what are your thoughts? Okay, so this is pretty interesting. So obviously the Disney Plus app is gonna need to be updated when they add in the Hulu tile in the US and obviously it's gonna have all this whole bundle stuff. And I suspect at some point in the future, once they've completed the purchase from Comcast, they would end up just doing a full 
a merger together of Hulu and Disney Plus in the US, similar to what um, we've seen with Paramount and with Showtime, and we're probably going to see something very similar happen with Max and Discovery Plus. I think at some point Discovery Plus will probably get um, eased out. So I think we are obviously going to go through a rebranding. It will probably be a new, a new version of the app. I don't think it's going to be the same way that Max launched, where it was an entirely new app and different things. I don't think they quite need to do that. They can just do an update on that one. They have been working on it for a while. They're going to want to make this as streamless as possible. Also as well, if they can update the Disney Plus app um, then for the rest of the world, that also opens up opportunities to start making some changes maybe in Latin America with Star Plus. Also like here in the UK, maybe bringing in like um, ESPN Plus. They can, they, they've got different options and if they can kind of make a unified version. So there's definitely that. As far as like, um, like colors and stuff, I mean, yeah, they could do. I mean, they could give uh, Disney Plus a, a lick of paint and, um, I wouldn't be surprised by that one. You know, they, they have actually changed the colors before. It was purple and then it's been blue and you know, they keep moving things around. But yeah, I think we probably will see some minor differences, but I don't think we're gonna see the same level that we saw with Max because it's not gonna be a brand new streaming service. It's just gonna be changing it. They might do little adjustments in the build up to it coming in. So there's less of a big impact. Um, maybe they start doing it internationally first uh, and then maybe, you know, Latin America before they do it in the US. But I suspect there will be a lot of like visual changes, but I don't think it's gonna be quite as maybe a big an upgrade as maybe as we as like max was but nevertheless let me know what you think of all this in the comments below remember to go check us out over at what's on at disneyplus.com i'll be back tomorrow with another news update and on that note guys thank you very much see you guys soon laters